Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and today I'm going to attempt to add a new plug um, into the side of my van here. Never cut metal before, so this should be interesting. I am going to be installing, it's called a NOCO. It's it's a uh, 110 plug, it's not a, it's not a 30 amp. But basically, it's a glorified extension cord, um, but a permanent extension cord, and I'll show you how that works. But first, I'm gonna start with cutting a hole in my van. So you've got your plug. I've got my two inch hole saw. And I'm gonna tape the hole. I've got safety glasses, a file, so that you can get rid of the shavings, and then you wanna spray it with um, paint or um, a rust-oleum to keep it from rusting in the future. So near the bed here is where I've decided that I wanna put my plug. So that's what it looks like now and I'm gonna get ready to mark it and get ready to put a hole in Okay, so the very first thing that I'm going to do is make sure to tape off the area because when you're drilling through metal, you're gonna have a lot of little shavings that come out everywhere. So I'm just gonna tape this off real quick and then mark the spot and then I'll be ready to put the hole in. I'm not really sure why in some of the videos of people that I've watched, they will start the pilot hole from outside. For me, it just makes sense because I know where the brace is in here and I know where the tire well is um, and I know outside there's nothing there. So I'm just gonna start my pilot hole from the inside and then work on the hole for the plug from the outside in. So here we go. And I've never drilled into metal like this before. <sighs> I'm very nervous. So I'm going to start by taping around the hole and the reason that you do that is to keep it from scratching whenever you're cutting and keep it from scratching the rest of your van and also maybe keep some of those shavings together a little bit. I'm not sure. That's what everybody does. So I'm going to do it too. Okay, so I know there's probably a better method to finding where you want it. Uh, some people, I've seen them tap with a screwdriver to make the hole um, so they knew about where they wanted it. <laughs> For me, uh, my daughter Brittany is helping me today. And we, Hi. <laughs> yeah, we literally just kind of knocked at each other from inside and out and went, yeah, that's about right. And then I went inside and kind of measured from there. But it's like Marco Polo. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was definitely not an exact science. Um, but I think it's exactly where I want it. There's some braces inside that you want to miss and that kind of thing. So this is where we're going with it. Safety first. That's right. Oh yeah. Do I oh, rock them? Oh, nice. Yeah, that's nice, right? <laughs> Super cool. That's okay. right. Like I know a lot of people do this. I'm terrified. And, and, and even people that I know in my life are like, you're going to cut the hole in there. I've watched a lot of videos, so I'm hoping this goes well. Um, probably watched a lot of videos two or three times a piece. So we're just gonna try it and see what happens, but I'm terrified. Okay. Think it's an issue with the drill? It's the clutch in the drill's not. So I had some trouble with the drill and Rusty, my new friend, my new best friend, <laughs> came down and bailed me out and got it fixed. So I now have a new hole in the side. I'm going to file it and then spray the spray on it and then we are good to install the plug. Thank wow. you so much. You're welcome. So from the best from what I can tell, you're, you're going to want to smooth out the edges here and then also take the file on the inside and just kind of smooth it out. You're basically wanting to get rid of your rough edges um, and just anything that might be sticking out that might get on your core. Okay, 
Okay, so now that I've sprayed that, I just used Rust-Oleum, but I'll put links to everything that I used in the description. Um, what the ranger told me about the drill is that there was an issue with the clutch. Even though we had the torque turned all the way high, he had to mess with it to get the clutch, I guess, disengaged so that we could drill all the way in. You may not have that problem, but I did want to go ahead and get help just in case. I didn't want to screw this up. So now I'm going to peel the tape off, dry fit the plug, and then I should be ready to put the screws in. All right, so the moment of truth, we're gonna dry fit the plug, see if everything works, and if so, I'm gonna screw it down. Put these in here. And when you put the plug in itself, you wanna make sure that you, if you want it oriented right, that you put the top facing up. Otherwise, look at that, looks pretty good. Just gotta screw it down and, and I am ready to go. So with this particular plug, it does have a gasket around it already, so you do not have to put silicone around. It's self-sealing, and once you get it installed, it is waterproof. So there's our hole. Then the, the plug that feeds in, you just plug in your surge protector. I have this Belkin one uh, because the power that comes from the poles at state parks is not always safe, so I just want to make sure. So I'm going to go outside now, connect my extension cord, and then we should be able to test it out. So the reason that I really wanted to plug on the outside of this is because before now I was having to run an extension cord out the back door um, and charge things or to use the power pole here at the state park. Now, whether it's raining or anything like that, I can plug directly in the side of the van and plug into the power pole and have power inside of the van. Okay, the final test here. And we have power. Ooh, nice. So the actual final was to test if my Jackery, if I could plug it in to recharge it here at the state park using my new plug. And as you can see, it is charging fully and appropriately. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. So as you can tell, it's about to start raining here. So we finished just in the nick of time. Thanks to my daughter, Brittany, for helping. I could not have done it without her. No both, problem. <laughs> both the, the camera angles and the moral support uh, was huge for this thing. Um, it was a little more difficult than I thought it would be. Uh, if we hadn't had issues with the drill, maybe I would feel a little better about it, but it's done. I can now close the van doors. I don't have to worry about the storm that's coming in and I will be nice and closed up inside the van. So I hope you liked the video. Remember to always enjoy those little things and we'll see you next time.